Hello, families. It's Mr. C. And I'm here to talk about attendance and why attendance matters. We want you here. We need you here. And today I want to talk to you about staying home sick, when it's appropriate to stay home sick, and when it's appropriate to send kids to school. So let's dive right in. I want to talk about four of the major reasons why we would want kids to stay home sick. The first one being fever. If a kid's burning up with fever, we want them to stay home. If it comes with other minor symptoms, especially too, right? Sore throat will often come with a fever. We don't want kids to stay home for a sore throat, but we do want them to stay home for a fever, okay? If a kid has a fever, keep them home. Here's the next one. Barfing, puking, vomiting, throwing up. Whatever you call it at home, if a kid's throwing up, please keep them home from school. That's a great excuse. Here's another great excuse. Poop in your pants or diarrhea. If a kid has diarrhea or is pooping their pants or... Whatever, I don't need to be any more descriptive than that, I don't think. Definitely a good reason to stay home from school. And then the last one being excessive coughing. That means loud and excessive coughing that can be destructive to classes, but could also uh, spread germs in ways where minor coughs wouldn't. Okay, so excessive coughing. And then if we're talking multiple days, we might want to negotiate that a little bit too, because we really don't want kids being out multiple days for excessive coughing, unless there's a good reason. Now let's talk about some symptoms that kids can have and still come to school. Because as I said before, attendance matters. Every day matters in elementary school. And so there are some, you know, some minor symptoms, cold-like symptoms that kids can be experiencing where we still want them here at school. The first one is sniffles. If you have the sniffles, we want you here at school. Stuffy nose, we want you here at school. We got more Kleenex than we know what to do with. We'll make sure we're washing hands. We'll make sure we're using, have a box of Kleenex right there on your desk. But the sniffles, you can come to school with the sniffles. Stomach ache too. A lot of times, stomach aches are signs of anxiety. And so we want to help kids work through that anxiety. Often, stomach aches will go away after the first little bit of school, a little bit of water, a little something to eat, you're good to go. Here's another symptom of anxiety is headaches. Often when kids have headaches, it's because they're experiencing anxiety. Uh, and so be very cautious about keeping kids home for headaches. Please, some chronic stomach aches and headaches when it comes to school, please reach out to us. We want to help. Uh, families and students work through some of those anxiety triggers that they might be having when they come to school. Here's another minor symptom, coughing, right? We talked about excessive coughing, but also minor coughing. A little bit of <clears throat> is okay for school. Again, we'll make sure kids are washing their hands and have access to all sorts of Kleenex if they need it, but minor coughs, we can have that at school. And here's the last one, sore throat. Now, as I said before, sore throat and fever, that's a problem. Oh, we don't want kids coming to school with a fever, but just a sore throat, Kids are allowed to be here at school. All right, so I hope that this helped a little bit, kind of maybe clarify when it's okay to come to school and when kids should stay home. Just know that we are here to help. If you have questions, reach out to us in the office. If you're seeing some of these chronic symptoms with one of your students, please let us know because we want to help too. Again, that number that we're trying to stay under for the year is 10 absences. A student that has more than 10 absences can be considered a chronic absenteeism. We really want to avoid that. It has such an impact on education. And so again, if you have any questions, you need any help from us, reach out to us here at school and I'll see you in our next episode of Attendance Matters.